Hello, hello, hi everybody, I'm back, and uh, it's Friday, it's, it's Merry Christmas, happy birthday to me, um, card day, drop day, tops chrome, I've been getting into breaks for this stuff all week, guys, and I've been doing pretty good with it, I mean, the stuff, once you figure out the routine and how the stuff breaks and stuff like that, it, you can, you can kind of break it down a little bit, right, um, and a little bit of luck never hurts, um, one of the things I've been liking that I've been getting on the breaks is the negatives, right? So the negatives you can get out of this. And one thing I was wondering is, like, what's the odds on the negatives in a retail? Because there's two negatives per hobby case. That's It would take you like 110 hobby cases to get a whole set of negatives. So that's, like, tough. It's a tough hit. They're going for decent money online, too. They're holding their own. You know what I mean? And so my thinking was, is the retail going to come out and just destroy these negatives? So I looked at the pack odds on the side. And yeah, you're not gonna be able to see that right there. I got the plastic on our stuff still. But the negatives are at a hundred a hundred and sixty. 156, one for every 156 packs. Okay, so that means it's like out of a case of 20 blasters, you're gonna get like one negative. Now, what sucks for me is Another guy that goes to my local Wally with me, he got two of these this morning. I got four. Um, he pulled it. He already took a picture, but it was like a veteran guy where it was uh, Trent Grisham. So he already pulled it. So I'm not getting it. That stinks. <laughs> but congratulations. He also got a Wander Pink rookie. So, I mean, good for him. He had a, he had a pretty good rip. I think the Wander Pink's going for like 70 80 bucks right now. So he made his money back just off, the, off that one card. So, congratulations, brother. Um, this stuff right here, I'm sure you guys have heard about it. If you haven't, there's no short prints. That's the, the SP bases are not in here. Could the autos be in here? Like the Julio Rodriguez, the Hunter Green, the Spencer Torkelson. Those guys right there, they're supposed to have base SSPs. They're not in the product. Tops came out and put out an issue saying that they're going to send silver packs out. To the people they ship the, the the cases out to. So they're supposed to get one silver pack for every hobby or jumbo box, I believe, right? They just said hobby boxes, but I figure they include jumbo, maybe even light. Not every silver pack is going to have the SSP in it. Some are going to have um, like base cards, other thing I would assume random. They're going to randomize them in there. Otherwise, they just litter the SPs and they would be worthless. But and those guys, what some of the breakers are doing, let's say they had a 100 case break, they're going to do a break for everybody involved in that break for the 100 with the 100 silver packs. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. If they could offer that or a refund, I would probably take the refund. If you bought one of those expensive spots, take my word for it. That's probably the better option too. That's what I would do. Uh, if you think about 100 silver packs, you're going to get one. Maybe. Maybe, but what's the value? I'm I'm really shaky on this because it's tops gonna like overprint these things. Cause what I'm hearing down through the he said, she said, that he said, that that said, that you're whatever, um, that they they didn't even have these things printed. Okay, so now they're supposed to be out. They're saying in ten days from now that they're gonna be out. The silver packs are gonna start shipping those out. So if they weren't printed, when did they start printing them? Or when are they going to start printing them? And how fast are they going to do it to pack them to get them out? I'm wondering. I'm concerned about uh, printing quality, damage at that point. Um, I'm concerned about how many they're going to print. Are they going to litter their market with these things? Um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of concerns I have with them. And I don't know. But there's still a lot of good cards in here you can get. The retail, I don't know. I like the hobby, the jumbo breaks, because um, of all the autos. So for me, that's where it's at. Um, I got a give giveaway coming up this week, so keep an eye out for that one as well. Um, my local Wally got like a lot of optic football this week. I didn't get any of it. I didn't. I'm not that happy with the optic football to be honest with you. This year, the quality of it I think was kind of like worse than last year just because I got a lot of stuff on surface, like like glue and just and the centering was just horrific. People say, well, it wasn't that great last year, but I remember being this dang bad. Like, it's bad. I'm unhappy with it. I love Optic, but I thought Prism this year, for me, I thought Prism was a little bit better. 
Prison Football was a little bit better quality wise. It's like I did find a lot of high quality ones. There was a lot of damage in Prison, but there was a lot of I think higher quality ones as well. And Optic, it's just kind of like that. Everything's like a nine. There's no eight point five and tens. It's like nine it's like across the board. Robbie Gross, Joey Vato. You gotta watch out too, because some of these 1987s will be parallel. They will be numbered. I don't know again. Look nice so far. I mean, I watched the breaks from these things. I haven't seen a whole lot of damage in the breaks of these things either. So that worked out pretty well. Evan Longoria. You got a pink. Salvador. It's our first prism. These prisms, I think, are one out of, out of eight. So it's like one per blaster, I think it is. Justin Verlander. Ryan Zimmerman. And our pink is... Cedric Mullins. Let's leave this, this cat up. Eh. And this one. Might as well this one too. That's like the one, I think. There's eight packs in the blaster, so I think that's it for those. Oh, the, I should have one more pink. I think I the pink the pinks for one for four. So Dylan Carlson, rookie cup. Mookie Betts, the insert. Those are nice. The pinstripe inserts, I believe. Those are nice. And a Mount Castle. These these pinstripes ones, they're not that easy of a hit either. I think you get a few in a case, hobby box cases, but they're not littered in there. You know what I mean? Not a lot of inserts at all this year. You got that one and what's the other one that I got for... Uh, Oh, we'll see it, right? Jose Harias. A Wander base. Oh, and a Wander insert right after that. The classics. So sweet. I didn't get the pink. Oh, boy, got the pink. But maybe I'll get the a refractor or a prism one. Nice. First Wander. That's the other insert. The classics. Jacob deGrom. And this is the... How do you say it? You know what I'm talking about. It's a Freddie Freeman, too. That's a nice hit, though. I like it. Image variations. One of those could get past me. If you guys see one, I think I know him pretty well. But if you see one get past me, don't be afraid to holler at me. Say, hey. Hey, stupid. You missed the variation. Bobby D-Bag. I'm sorry, that's not true. Very disrespectful. I'm sorry. Wander 1987. There we go, baby. Ian Happ. Sweet. That looks nice, too. Boy, I got a 10 of his from the paper from Series 1. I got it graded for CSG. So now it looks like I'm going to get to add a Chrome 1987. I like those 1987 ones. Zach Lothar. Joe Ryan. That's a guy I really want to get some more of. Joe Ryan's a beast, man. I'm an Indians guy, so I've seen this guy pitch quite a lot this year. And I'll tell you what, dude. He's, he's here to stay, brother. Dansby Swanson. Giancarlo. Josh Donaldson's my other pink. Eh. Of course, the rookie checklist on this is nothing new, none of the new stuff. That's why I got my Tops Fire Hobby Boxes coming from Target. Can't wait to get that. Kyle Rowley, boy, he got some home run numbers this year. And a Tony Santillan. Go ahead and sleeve up the cow. No ref let's say was that no refractors yet though for me. What's up with that? I'm getting a bit the base refractors, no? Hmm. Oh boy got some refractors. Jazzy. Riley Adams. 
Anthony Rendon. Here's my refractor coming up. Hoy Park. Who's the refractor of? Wander Franco. That's a Sephira. I can't say that word. Steph. And that sucker looks nice. Yeah, boy. So he got the pink, but I got everything else. Hot. Diggity dog. We'll see if this keeps up. I was wondering if these things were going to kind of be like hot or not, but I wouldn't call it hot. Wait, Park, he got sent back down, guys. hes I don't think he's even up in the majors right now. Dang. I was really wondering if these things were going to be... No numbered cards, though. I didn't see it any... Not one numbered card. Uh, Old boy did get a numbered card. He got a blue. A true blue. So... Surprised, man. I didn't see a refractor either. Let me see this. Where's the base refractors at on here? Base ref regular refractors one out of four. The sep this whatever. Pink's one out of four. Prism refractors one out of eight. I had to miss it, guys. Hold on, let me see. Not unless it was, uh, they wouldn't count the insert. Where, oh, where has my refractor gone? Where, oh, where could it be? Maybe it was the Wander Rookie. Oh, I did get a Wander Rookie. No, it was this, this, the other one. Nope. Nope. I was thinking maybe it was the ins maybe the insert that counted as nope. Son of a summoner. I don't see it, boys and girls. They cut me on a refractors. Supposed to be two. Son of a Supposed to get two pinks, two of those S words, and two regular refractors. Nelson Cruz, Brandon Marsh, and Trevor Rogers Rookie Cup. Surface is all looking really nice on these, though. Centering looks pretty nice. Guess I can't complain because I did get like freaking four wanders out of that box, but still. Vidal Brujon. Oh, there we go. There's a piece here. Emmanuel Classe. With the prism. This guy's having a great year, man. I don't know how many saves he has. He's, I think he's in the 30s, which is sick, right? This guy's been excellent. I think he's blown two the whole year. Casey Mize with the pink. He's been done. He's been out. Been out with what? Surgery, right? I think he was kind of struggling a little bit before that, too. That's your first pink right there. Careful with that. Jared Walsh on the back side. Let me hit him on the back side. Eli. There's a refractor. Okay, there's your base refractor. Eloy Jimenez. I call that team Mr. Glass. Eloy Jimenez. Luis Robert. Um... Most of the White Sox, be honest with you. Team Glass. That is a refractor, but I don't... 
it doesn't say it on the back anywhere. I thought these, I thought for sure these things said refractor on them, but I don't see it. But put that oversight. It does look like it has that gloss to it, though. Maybe that's why I didn't see it on the first one. I would say it though. Top, everything top says refractor on it. Maybe that that can't be it. It's got to be my eyesight. My eyesight is the drizzling crap. So, Pete Alonso classics. You can get these guys in a parallel too. If these whites are different, you have to watch it. Look for the number on the back. Okay. Mookie Betts. You got a Goldschmidt having a great year. These don't say it all on the back either. MVP caliber year, Mr. Goldschmidt. Connor Wong. Petey. Mr. Anderson. And Isaiah Connor Falefa. Brother Pink, John Means. Ooh, they're centering off on that one. Byron Buxton, Tyler Gilbert, rookie. Jake Berger, Jake Booger, Booger Burger. I heard uh, one of the guys pronouncing it differently. I call him Burger, but I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. When the other guy pronounced it, I was like, you know what? That might be right. I was like, you know, that, that very well could be. Evan Longoria was our second pink. The pinks. Eh. I liked Evan Longoria. I remember when he came up with the Rays. I don't know what happened to him since. Brian De La Cruz. Alex Manoa. And a Luke Williams refractor. I know that's a refractor. Yeah, doesn't say refractor on the back. Huh. So yeah, I probably missed it. Mike Trout. Looks nice. Justin Turner. We got one. Got a sticky here. Uh oh. We got color. It's a Detroit Tiger. Dude, give me Matt Manning. Matt Manning. I want Matt Manning. I'll take a Torquil Auto right here too, though. But give me. I want. I want Matt Manning autograph right here. Let's go. Watch it be a Casey Mize because I got the other one. This stuff runs together, guys. It's a hitter. It's Robbie Grossman. It looks nice. He's not even with the team anymore. He's with the Brave. And it's numbered. 399. So we got a numbered card. Robbie G. Look at how centered up it is though. Top to bottom, left to right. Everything looks good. I'm telling you, the quality on these is really good. As it should be. I got to see my trout. I like this shot of trout. Somebody got his negative in a break the other day. I was like, oh, bastard. Lucky bastard. All right, guys, it's time to do the 300 subscriber giveaway. Okay, I'm going to give away this right here. Select hanger. All right, the way this works is there's a link for my eBay store down in the description. All right, go down there and click the link. It'll send you to my store. I'm going to show you a card to find somewhere in my store all right when you find the card you read the description first to make sure it says ebay subscriber giveaway all right just that way you know you got the right one go ahead and purchase it it's 99 cents card that you're gonna have to purchase and it's gonna be calculated shipping for a four ounce box okay so it should cost you anywhere from between four and six and a half bucks depending on where you're at in the u.s International, anything under eight ounces usually is a little bit cheaper. It's usually going to run you maybe Canada, maybe thirteen dollars. 
you know, uh, Australia, whatever else. I don't know. You have to it'll tell you at checkout, but it's still, you know, you're going to still save money, even though it's going internationally, the shipping's going to be a little bit more, but it's still, still a good deal for you. You know what I mean? You're still paying less than retail. So when you do that on checkout, go ahead and just click, um, click, rip it or ship it. If you want me to rip it for you live on the channel, I will. I can do it like probably I'll end up doing it Sunday morning live. Um, it'll stay up on the channel, of course, so you can watch it whenever you want. But I will go live with it Sunday morning. I'll rip it and I'll sleeve every single card in there for you, package it securely in a six by four by four box, and get it out to you. Um, I will not be held liable if any are damaged inside the pack. That's between you and Select and Panini or whatever, right? Um, if not, you want me to just to ship it, just click this right in the description. Ship it. If you don't put anything, then, you know, I might just cancel your order because you didn't follow instructions <laughs> and redo the contest. All right. So don't do that. Just contact me. If you forget, then contact me afterwards. You do the message or whatever and let me know or I'll message you. I will do that. I won't, I won't cancel you or I'll message you. Then I'll give you a day to respond. If you don't respond, then I cancel you. All right. But uh, let's go ahead and let's get it done. All right. Here we go. This is the card I want you to go look for. You buy this card, you get a good deal on a select hanger pack, guys. Every 100 subscribers we get is going to be another giveaway. If you're not subbed up and you win, give me a sub. I never ask for subs. That's my thing. I'm not a sub beggar, all right? But, you know, we get a free stuff. Sub up, brother. Or not. And just watch. Whatever. It's all good. Ready? Here we go. Go find it and buy it. All right? You get this card. You get the hanger. 99 cents, brother. Caleb Farley draft class. Let's go. What are you still here? Go look for it. All right. Bye for now. Thanks for subbing. Uh, off to the next later. Oh, and have a good weekend.